Welcome back to the Weekly Athlete Spotlight. My name is Anderson, and we're gonna be jumping in and talking about some athletes who put down amazing performances, but really do deserve some more recognition for those marks this past week. Let's jump into it. First off, we gotta talk about Lorraine Ugin from Great Britain. In the women's long jump, competing at the Stockholm Diamond League, Ugin managed to jump 6.81 meters to take the win in that long jump. Now, why is this performance significant? This ranks her number eight in the world this year for the long jump. And we know the women's long jump is super deep this year. It also is her 10th best performance of her entire career. And this is a lot. She's had a very long and successful career. She's coming off winning the bronze medal at the World Indoor Championships in Serbia. She also, that was following up her World Indoor Bronze in 2018. So again, she's had a very long and successful career. So for her to jump 6.81 meters already, breaking into the top 10 for the 2022 year, this bodes very well for what she's gonna be doing in a couple weeks at the World Championships. She's also coming off winning the British Championships. She's, again, really been rolling this season, and I think this bodes well for what she's gonna be able to do. Now, the women's long jump is a very, very deep competition. There are so many women who are pushing the seven meter boundary or have already surpassed that boundary that Ugin might have to set a personal best. Her personal best is 7.05 meters. She might have to dip into that personal best to get onto the podium, but I think there are some opportunities as the field does have some openings for her to maybe sneak onto the podium if she doesn't hit that seven meter mark. But still, keep a lookout for Ugin. She's gonna be putting down something really, really great at the World Championships coming up this month. Next, let's jump over to the men's side where we have Yasmani Capello for Turkey. In the men's 400 meter hurdles, he was actually competing at the Mediterranean Games over in Algeria, and he ran 48.27 seconds. He won the Mediterranean Games, and this is a season's best for him in those hurdles. This is his ninth fastest performance of his entire career. So really significant performance in the hurdles here. And this also makes him number eight in the world this year as well in 2022. But just like we saw with Ugin, there's a couple guys ahead of Capello in the 400 meter hurdles that won't be at the world championships. So in terms of the worlds, he's actually number six in the descending order list. His personal best is 47.81 seconds, which he set at the Tokyo Olympic Finals last year in that amazing race with Warholm, Benjamin, and Dos Santos. But he got a bronze medal at the Rio Olympic Games in 2016. He also got a silver medal in 2017 at the London World Championships. He's 35 years old, so he's already had a very long and successful career in the 400 meter hurdles. But with the potential absence of Carson Warholm in the hurdles, that opens up the door for a lot of guys to potentially push and get on that podium. Again, Capello has had a very long and successful career, but with this performance, he's showing that he's rounding into form in very good time. So keep a lookout for him when we get to Eugene. So those are just two performances from two athletes who put down some amazing performances over the past week. Next week, Friday, the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon are gonna be kicking off. Keep tuning in. We're actually gonna be live at the World Championships to bring you some amazing content planned for the championships. So definitely keep tuning in. Make sure you follow us. Make sure you go in the comments below. Let me know what some of the things that you might wanna see. Let me know some of the athletes that I might've missed from this past week as well. And we're not gonna be coming in with a weekly athlete spotlight next week. Of course, again, I'm gonna be going to the World Championships to bring you some great content. So make sure you keep tuning in. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.